Sugar, that sweet, sweet enemy. We all love it but it doesn't always love us back. Consuming more than our body can handle can lead to various health concerns. We're talking about problems like prediabetes, diabetes, and other chronic conditions. But how do you know if you're crossing the line? What are the telltale signs that your sweet tooth is taking a toll on your health? Well, that's what we're here to talk about. We'll be uncovering seven warning signs that might indicate you're overdoing it with the sugar. And we'll reveal what happens when you quit sugar cold turkey. These are signals your body sends to alert you, like a car's check engine light warning you before serious damage occurs. So if you've been feeling a bit off lately, or you're just curious, this video is for you. Stay tuned as we delve into the warning signs of excessive sugar intake. The first sign you're eating too much sugar is weight gain. Now you might be wondering how sugar leads to weight gain. It's simple really. When you consume sugar, your body converts it into glucose for energy. However, when you eat more sugar than your body needs for energy, it stores the excess as fat. This is a survival instinct, a leftover from our ancestors' times when food was scarce. But in today's world, where sugar is readily available, this mechanism can lead to unwanted weight gain. Studies have shown a direct correlation between increased sugar intake and weight gain. For example, a study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association found that individuals who got 17 to 21 percent of their calories from added sugar had a 38 percent higher risk of dying from cardiovascular disease compared to those who consumed only 8 percent of their calories from added sugar. This also ties into the fact that foods high in added sugars are often low in other essential nutrients. You're filling up on empty calories and missing out on the nutritious foods that keep you feeling full and satisfied. So, if you've been gaining weight unexpectedly, it might be time to evaluate your sugar intake. The second sign is acne breakouts. Ever wonder why those pesky pimples pop up when you've been indulging in your sweet tooth? It's not just a coincidence. Scientific research shows a clear correlation between high sugar intake and acne. Sugars cause inflammation in your body and this inflammation can lead to breakouts. So, if you've been battling with acne, it might be time to consider how much sugar you're consuming. If you've noticed a sudden increase in acne, your sugar consumption could be the culprit. The third sign is mood swings. Ever find yourself shifting from joy to annoyance in a heartbeat? Too much sugar could be the culprit. You see, when we consume sugar, our bodies respond by releasing insulin to balance our blood glucose levels. However, Excessive sugar intake can lead to a rapid rise and fall in blood sugar, triggering emotional roller coasters. Research shows that a steady, balanced diet can help maintain emotional stability. So, if you're riding an emotional merry-go-round, it might be worth examining your sugar consumption. Experiencing mood swings? It could be due to your sugar intake. The fourth sign is a lack of energy. You might be surprised to know that sugar, despite its initial rush, can leave you feeling fatigued. Here's why. When you consume sugar, your body rapidly breaks it down, leading to a quick spike in energy. However, this high is short-lived and is followed by a sudden drop, leaving you feeling drained. This roller coaster of energy highs and lows can make you feel constantly tired. So if you're battling fatigue despite getting enough sleep, you might want to take a closer look at your sugar intake. If you're constantly feeling tired, it might be a sign of too much sugar in your diet. The fifth sign is sugar cravings. It's a bit of a vicious cycle. The more sugar you consume, the more your body craves it. Why's that? Well, sugar fuels every cell in the brain, and your brain sees it as a reward, which makes you keep wanting more of it. It's not just about willpower, it's also about biology. Consuming large amounts of sugar can cause your brain to become accustomed to high levels of sugar, leading to increased cravings. Craving sugar constantly? It's a clear sign you're consuming too much. The sixth sign is sleep disturbances. Now, this might surprise you, but your sweet tooth may be the culprit behind those restless nights. When we consume too much sugar, it can cause irregularities in our sleep patterns. How so, you might wonder? Well, sugar can cause spikes and crashes in our blood sugar levels, leading to energy surges that may interfere with our body's natural sleep-wake cycle. So, if you're tossing and turning at night, it might be time to reassess your sugar intake. Trouble sleeping? It could be because of your sugar consumption. Now that we know the signs, let's discuss how to cut back on sugar. The first step is to limit your intake of sugary drinks. These beverages are often high in sugar and low in nutritional value, making them a prime target for reduction. Instead of reaching for that soda or sweetened coffee, opt for water, unsweetened tea, or even a fruit-infused water for a splash of flavor. Next, consider switching to healthier dessert options. 
sugar-laden treats can quickly add up, but there are plenty of delicious alternatives out there. Try swapping out your usual dessert for a piece of fruit or a handful of nuts. Dark chocolate can also be a satisfying choice as it contains less sugar than its milk chocolate counterpart. Another crucial tip is to incorporate more whole foods into your diet. These foods such as fruits, vegetables, and whole grains are naturally low in sugar and high in fiber, helping you to feel fuller for longer. Plus, they're packed with essential vitamins and minerals that your body needs to function optimally. Reading food labels is another key strategy in your sugar-cutting arsenal. These labels can often reveal hidden sugars in foods you might not expect like bread or salad dressing. Look out for words like fructose, glucose, and sucrose, as these are all forms of sugar. Lastly, don't be afraid to seek help from a healthcare provider if you're concerned about your sugar intake. They can provide personalized advice and support, helping you to make sustainable changes that can lead to better health. Remember, cutting back on sugar doesn't mean you have to eliminate it completely. It's all about balance and making smarter choices that support your overall well-being. So, start slow, make small changes, and remember, every step you take is a step towards a healthier you. Cutting back on sugar can significantly improve your health. That wraps up our video on 7 signs you're eating too much sugar and how to cut back. We've journeyed through the impacts of excessive sugar intake from weight gain to sleep disturbances and how these can potentially lead to prediabetes or diabetes. We've also explored practical ways to cut back on sugar, like limiting sugary drinks and switching to healthier dessert options. Remember, it's not just about cutting out sugar, but about embracing a healthier lifestyle. We hope you found this video useful. If you did, please leave a comment below. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video, and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to try our 90-day dopamine detox challenge, watch the video on your screen next. Thank you for watching.